So we're playing the Viper Room on September 13th for the first time for the Royal Vines and for myself, Brenda Christine, and uh, I guess I want to talk a little bit about why it's important to me to be playing there. Uh, it's known for so many different acts to be playing there. Um, Johnny Cash and Tom Petty and Maroon 5 and John Fushanti and it's also kind of been legendary because of River Phoenix's death and I've been there a couple times in the past but never played there um, but you know his name to me I knew of but I didn't know anything about him when he died and I was about I was 15 and so literally it was the the day after that I heard it on the news and I just wondered and questioned like why somebody that young died like that or why why did this happen I didn't know anything about the drug world or anything like that so from there I just I started watching a couple of his films and I was just intrigued why this happened to him and I started you know, watching a couple films and reading a couple books about his life that had come out maybe around that time and what I learned was he wasn't just an actor even though he was like thrown into it kind of young but he also was playing guitar and had his own band and in uh, Florida and uh, I I started writing poetry at the age of 14. I think that was the year before that. And played violin when I was a kid and never really picked up the guitar, but for some reason his story about how he was playing on the streets of Venezuela and he kind of, he basically like self-taught himself. I think that's what he kind of wanted to do or that was just kind of how it happened. And so to me I was like I didn't even know you could be self-taught on the guitar at the time, and I've never taken lessons now, but anyway, uh, I guess I was inspired with the music to pick up a guitar and be self-taught because I thought that sounded interesting. So my dad had an acoustic guitar that was on top of our piano that was just sitting there. It was just collecting dust and so I started with that um, and then he also inspired me to start acting more which I did but I found that I'm not a very good actor I don't think that I am I was a theater major at Michigan State but I don't think that I I didn't turn out to be I love actors but I I'm just more musical so I, so it was with that and then a couple other things and I think becoming a vegetarian but I'm not one now <laughs> I was for a little bit and then it was a good experience though that's not really important right now though and then to stay away one of the major ones was just to stay away from drugs because I hard drugs that just to stay away from that and uh, so playing there it's a long story um, I don't know it's just going to be kind of a tribute to him or a memory in memoriam or something for me personally it's not really something I've told a lot of people about but he's one of the main reasons and influences in me starting to play guitar and that was about 25 years ago and I think it's pretty amazing how people can touch your life and you've never even met them